Well, it's a story we've been following for really years now. Concerns about how payday loans are given out in our state. State Senator Arthur Orr calls them toxic. He's pushing for reform. You've heard this story before, but tonight, Nick Lowe says there's a new bill that might actually make it. Well, it's, it's certainly the broadest bill we've ever had. It, it would bring or restore order for small loans across the state for years to come. Senator Arthur Orr is all in on SB 284. He says his bill allows payday lenders to stay open, but also puts a stop to staggering interest rates and abusive lending. For example, a $2,000 loan or more would be capped at a 60% interest rate. They may not make as much money, but they can certainly continue to stay in business and be that resource for people who get in a pinch, who have perhaps bad credit and need a payday loan. Last session, Orr was able to pass a payday reform bill in the Senate, but it never made it to a House vote. This time around, State Representative Anthony Daniels, the House Minority Leader, doesn't anticipate anything getting in the way of a vote, not even the possible impeachment of Governor Bentley. There's a commitment from the leadership at the top, uh, myself included, uh, and, and the speaker, on um, that there has to be something done. We have to do something to protect consumers. The payday loan issue is nothing new in Alabama. Even former U.S. President Barack Obama got involved while still in office. He visited Birmingham a few years ago and announced national reforms on the industry. Now, the payday industry says they help consumers who can't get loans from traditional banks. But tonight, credit unions argue, look, we've started what they call non-traditional lending. They say it can target the loans for some of those customers.